So this question number 147 is from the topic three dimensional geometry. It is given that a plane passes through this point and is parallel to this line. This is one plane. Let's call this plane P1 and there is another plane r dot this minus 54 is equal to 0. Let's call this plane P2 and we need to find the maximum distance between planes P1 and P2. So clearly in order to have maximum distance these both planes must be parallel and we can also prove that from the condition that this line r vector is parallel to 2, 0, 3 and normal vector of this plane is 6, minus 13, minus 4 vector. So let's call this r line as a vector plus lambda b vector and let's call this plane p2 as r dot n2 is equal to c, right? Now clearly because n2 dot b is what 2i cap plus 3k cap dot 6i cap minus 13j cap minus 4k cap. So i cap, i cap 12 and 3k cap minus 4k cap is minus 12, 12 minus 12 0 this gives you n2 dot b cap or b vector is 0 that clearly means this line is perpendicular to this plane and this line was parallel to this this line is perpendicular to the normal hence this line is parallel to this plane and the question it is given that this line was parallel to first plane as well hence both of the planes must be parallel so situation is something like this let's call this plane p1 which passes through point 1 comma minus 1 comma 0 let's call this plane p2 and clearly both planes because being parallel would have the common normal the normal would be in the direction n vector would be in the direction of 6 comma minus 13 comma minus 4 and now we need to find the equation of this plane which can be easily found out using the equation that p1 would be 6 times x minus 1 plus minus 13 times y minus minus that means y plus 1 and plus minus 4 times z minus 0 is equal to 0. So if we simplify this equation this gives you 6x minus 13y minus 4z is equal to 19 this is the plane P1, plane P2 given was 6x minus 13y minus 4z is equal to 54 and we need to find the maximum distance d between these two planes that would be d is equal to difference of the constant terms 35 over under root of a square plus b square plus c square that is 6 square plus 13 square plus 4 square that gives you 35 over under root of 221 and this would be the right answer hence option number b is correct Thank you. so this question number 148 is from the coordinate geometry it says that three points a point 3 comma 2 let's call it b point 10 comma under root of 10 comma under root of 3 with negative signs and c point 2 comma minus 3 these form a triangle and let's say d e f are the midpoint of sides of this triangle and if we join these three points d f and e we again get a triangle and it is given that if h is the ortho center of this triangle then we need to find the mod h uh, the value of magnitude of h vector right so how to proceed first of all if we carefully observe the coordinates of these three points if i ask you the value of x square plus y square for the point a it would be 3 square plus 2 square 13 for point C, 2 square plus 3 square 13 and point B as well, 10 plus 3, 13. So all these three points satisfy a general equation that is x square plus y square is equal to 13. That gives, you an, that gives us an idea that these three points lie on this circle and hence, now the question becomes very easy. The center of this circle is origin that is 0, 0 and 
this would also be the circumcenter of this triangle ABC. Now, if DEF are the midpoints and we need to find the orthocenter, clearly the orthocenter of the midpoint triangle H is coinciding with the circumcenter of the original triangle ABC. Hence, the coordinate of H would also be 0, 0, and now question becomes very simple. The magnitude of H vector would also be 0, and the answer would be D. Thank you so much. So, question number 149 is again a problem of coordinate geometry. The question given is that these two lines have a point of intersection, locus of which would be the curve C. So let's first find the locus of the point of intersection of these two lines. And how do we get that? By eliminating the value of m. We get the value of m from here, we get the value of m from here, and we equate both to the values, and hence we get the curve as x minus 2 into y plus 1 is equal to 4, right? So this is the curve C, and the curve S, that is a circle, is given that, x minus 2 whole square, y plus 1 whole square is equal to 25. Now, to solve this problem, if we carefully observe, the center of the circle is 2 comma minus 1, as well as the center of this hyperbola is also 2 comma minus 1. Now, to ease out this problem, if we shift origin to the center itself, question would be very much simplified. How come? Let us shift origin. 0, 0, at what point? Center of the curve, that is 2, 2, minus 1. And hence, the equation of curves would be reduced to, let's call C dash, so this would be x, y is equal to 4, and that of circle would be S dash, x square plus y square is equal to 25. Now, to proceed the problem, first we need to draw the figure, the diagram, that would be something like, this is clearly a circle with the center 0, 0, and this is a rectangular hyperbola, graph of which would be in first and third quadrant. Now, it is given that center of this curve is O. So, this is clearly origin in this particular diagram, and both curve intersect at four points P, Q, R, S. So, let's call this point P, Q, this would be R, this would be S. Now tell me, what would be the value of OP? Clearly, it is the radius of the circle itself. Again, the OQ is also the radius. OR is also the radius of the circle. And finally, lastly, OS is also the radius of circle. Hence, the value of expression OP square plus OQ square plus OR square, OS square, would be 4 times r square because each value is equal to the radius. So, 4 times and what is the value of radius for the circle? Clearly, it is r square value is 25 because radius is 5. So, 4 times 25, this gives you value of this expression to be equal to 100 which is nothing but answer number D. Thank you so much. So, question number 150 is from the topic complex number. It is given that modulus of z minus 2 minus eta is 4 and we need to find the minimum value of this expression. So, how to do that? Let us make the coefficient of z 3 in this equation by multiplying the whole equation by 3. So, we can write it as 3z minus 6 minus 3 eta is equal to 4. That we already know. Now, we need, sorry, is equal to 12 because we multiplied 3 this equation. Now, we need to find this minimum value. How to do that? Do that. This expression can be written as, this is clearly equation of a circle. This can be written as 3z minus 6 minus 3 eta is equal to 12. And this expression can be compared as 3z minus 6 minus 3 eta plus 18 eta we need to find the value of. So, let us call this expression to be z1. So, mod of z1 is given to be equal to 12 and we need to find the value of mod of z1 plus 18 eta, the minimum value of this expression. Now, this expression, this equation is equation of a circle with center at origin O and the radius is equal to 12. So, clearly this point would be 0, minus 12, this point would be 0, 12. And what does 
this expression mean this means the minimum distance between the possible z1 values and the point 0 comma minus 18 so 0 comma minus 18 point would be somewhere over here and hence clearly the minimum distance would be the distance between point 0 comma minus 12 and 0 comma minus 18 that is 6 and hence the answer would be 6 which is nothing but option number c thank you sir